the peppered moth is a temperate species of night flying moth. Peppered moth evolution is an example of population genetics and natural selection. Description The wingspan is 55 mm median, it is relatively stout bodied, with four wings relatively narrow elongate. The wings are white, peppered with black, and with more or less distinct cross lines, also black. The black speckling varies in amount, in some examples it is almost absent, whilst in others it is so dense that the wings appear to be black sprinkled with white. The antennae of males are strongly bipectinate. Distribution, Bist and Betularia is found in China, Russia, Mongolia, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, Nepal, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Europe and North America. Ecology and Life Cycle In Britain and Ireland, the peppered moth is univoltine, whilst in southeastern North America it is bivoltine. The Lepidopteran life cycle consists of four stages, over, several larval instars, pupae, which over winter live in the soil, and imagines. During the day, the moths typically rest on trees, where they are preyed on by birds. The caterpillar is a twig mimic, varying in color between green and brown. On a historical note, it was one of the first animals to be identified as being camouflaged with counter shading to make it appear flat, in a paper by Edward Bagnall Poulton in 1887. It goes into the soil late in the season, where it pupates in order to spend the winter. The imagines emerge from the pea between late May and August, the males slightly before the females. They emerge late in the day and dry their wings before flying that night. The males fly every night of their lives in search of females, whereas the females only fly on the first night. Thereafter, the females release pheromones to attract males. Since the pheromone is carried by the wind, males tend to travel up the concentration gradient, that is, toward the source. During flight, they are subject to predation by bats. The males guard the female from other males until she lays the eggs. The female lays about 2,000 pale green ovoid eggs about 1 mm in length into crevices in bark with her ovipositor. Equals resting behavior equals. A mating pair or a lone individual will spend the day hiding from predators, particularly birds. In the case of the former, the male stays with the female to ensure paternity. The best evidence for resting positions is given by data collected by the peppered moth researcher Michael Major Use and it is given in the accompanying charts. These data were originally published in Howlett and Major Use, and an updated version published in Major Use, who concluded that the moths rest in the upper part of the trees. Major Use notes. Creationist critics of the peppered moth have often pointed to a statement made by Clark A. L. In 25 years we have only found two betularia on the tree trunks or walls adjacent to our traps, and none elsewhere. The reason now seems obvious. Few people spend their time looking for moths up in the trees. That is where peppered moths rest by day. From their original data, Howlett and Major Use concluded that peppered moths generally rest in unexposed positions, using three main types of sight. Firstly, a few inches below a branch trunk joint on a tree trunk where the moth is in shadow. Secondly, on the underside of branches and thirdly on foliate twigs. The above data would appear to support this. Further support for these resting positions is given from experiments watching captive moths taking up resting positions in both males and females. Major use, AL, have shown that peppered moths are cryptically camouflaged against their backgrounds when they rest in the boughs of trees. It is clear that in human visible wavelengths, typica are camouflaged against lichens and carbon area against plain bark. However, Birds are capable of seeing ultraviolet light that humans cannot see. Using an ultraviolet sensitive video camera, Major Use AL showed that Typica reflect ultraviolet light in a speckled fashion and are camouflaged against crustus lichens common on branches, both in ultraviolet and human visible wavelengths. However, Typica are not as well camouflaged against folios lichens common on tree trunks. Though they are camouflaged in human wavelengths, in ultraviolet wavelengths, folios lichens do not reflect ultraviolet light. 
during an experiment in Cambridge over the seven years 2001 a Euro 2007 major use noted the natural resting positions of peppered moths, and of the 135 moths examined over half were on tree branches, mostly on the lower half of the branch, 37% were on tree trunks, mostly on the north side, and only 12.6% were resting on or under twigs. Polymorphism equals introduction on forms equals there are several melanic and non-melanic morphs of the peppered moth these are controlled genetically a particular color morph can be indicated in a standard way by following the species name in the form morph or morph name the use of form in the method of biston betulary f form num and detailing these variations is also a widespread practice these forms are often accidentally elevated to subspecies status when they appear in literature not adding the f or morpho infers that the taxon is a subspecies instead of a form, as in Biston betularia carbonaria instead of Biston betularia f. Carbonaria. Rarely forms have been elevated to species status as in Biston carbonaria. Either of these two circumstances might lead to the erroneous belief that speciation was involved in the observed evolution of the peppered moth. This is not the case. Individuals of each morph interbreed and produce fertile offspring with individuals of all other morphs. Hence there is only one peppered moth species. By contrast, different subspecies of the same species can theoretically interbreed with one another and will produce fully fertile and healthy offspring but in practice do not, as they live in different regions or reproduce in different seasons. Full-fledged species are either unable to produce fertile and healthy offspring or do not recognize each other's courtship signals, or both. European breeding experiments have shown that in Biston betularia betularia, the allele for melanism producing morpha carbonaria is controlled by a single locus. The melanic allele is dominant to the non-melanic allele. This situation is, however, somewhat complicated by the presence of three other alleles that produce indistinguishable morphs of morpha medionigra. These are of intermediate dominance, but this is not complete. Equals form names equals, in continental Europe, there are three morphs, the white morph typica, the dark melanistic morph carbonaria, and an intermediate form medionigra. In Britain, the typical white morph is known as typica, the melanic morph is carbonaria, and the intermediate phenotype is named insularia. In North America, the melanic black morph is morpha swateria. In Biston betularia cognitaria, the melanic allele is similarly dominant to the non-melanic allele. There are also some intermediate morphs. In Japan, no melanic morphs have been recorded. They are all morphotypica. At present, the precise molecular genetics and biochemistry of the melanism in this species remains unknown. True has reviewed this and suggests work based on candidate genes from other insects such as the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster. In any case, it is rather likely that the underlying mechanism is not overly complex and, as indicated above, does not involve very many genes and alleles, unlike for example the variations seen in human skin color, peppered moth morphs are not clinal and can generally be readily distinguished from another. Evolution The evolution of the peppered moth over the last 200 years has been studied in detail. At the start of this period, the vast majority of peppered moths had light-colored wing patterns which effectively camouflaged them against the light-colored trees and lichens upon which they rested. However, due to widespread pollution during the Industrial Revolution in England, many of the lichens died out, and the trees which peppered moths rested on became blackened by soot, causing most of the light-colored moths, or typica, to die off due to predation. At the same time, the dark-colored, or melanic, moths, Carbonaria, flourished because they could hide on the darkened trees. Since then, with improved environmental standards, light colored peppered moths have again become common, and the dramatic change in the peppered moths' population has remained a subject of much interest and study. This has led to the coining of the term industrial melanism to refer to the genetic darkening of species in response to pollutants. As a result of the relatively simple and easy to understand circumstances of the adaptation, the peppered moth has become a common example used in explaining or demonstrating natural selection to lay people and classroom students through simulations. 
The first Carbonaria morph was recorded by Ed Leston in Manchester in 1848, and over the subsequent years it increased in frequency. Predation experiments, particularly by Bernard Ketluel, established that the agent of selection was birds who preyed on the Carbonaria morph. Jonathan Wells is one of a number of creationists who have criticized the use of peppered moth melanism as an example of evolution in action. In his book Icons of Evolution, Wells alleges that peppered moth studies, and in particular Kurt Lewell's experiments, were erroneous. Similarly, in 2002 Judith Hooper repeatedly implied fraud and error in Kurt Lewell's experiments in her book titled The Moths and Men. Despite some valid criticisms of the early experiments, there has been no evidence of fraud. Subsequent experiments and observations have supported the initial evolutionary explanation of the phenomenon. Gallery References External links Bruce Grant has written several papers on melanism in the peppered moth which are listed on his homepage. Online lecture, The Rise and Fall of the Melanic Peppered Moth presented by Lawrence Cook. Matt Young. Moonshine. Why the Peppered Moth Remains an Icon of Evolution Department of Physics, Colorado School of Mines Retrieved January 3, 2009 The Peppered Moth, Decline of a Darwinian Disciple This is the transcript of Michael Major Use Lecture delivered to the British Humanist Association on Darwin Day 2004 The Peppered Moth, The Proof of Darwinian Evolution this is the transcript of major use lecture given at the European Society for Evolutionary Biology meeting on August 23, 2007. The accompanying PowerPoint presentation is also available as a PDF file. Major use, Michael E. N. Industrial Melanism in the Peppered Moth, Bist and Betularia, an excellent teaching example of Darwinian evolution in action. Evolution, Education and Outreach 2, 63 Euro 74 DOI. 10.1007 per second 12052-008-0107Y. Accusations of data fudging and scientific fraud in the case are found to be vacuous. An interactive game to simulate how evolution works with Bist and Betularia.